So we're going to look at factorising some quadratics, and you know that a quadratic, the general equation is ax squared plus bx plus c. What we're going to look at is whenever this a value isn't 1, so you have a number of x squareds, and how we would factorise that, we'll put it back into some brackets. So, first example, if I had something like 2x squared plus 7x plus 6. The first thing we do is we look at this and we say, if I multiply together the a and the c terms, so that's this 2 and the 6. So 2 times 6 gives us 12. What I'm now doing is I'm looking for two numbers that multiply to give 12. So they multiply to give this 12, and they're going to add to give 7. So two numbers that multiply to give 12 and add to 7, well, they must be 3 and 4. And what I do at that point is I split this 7x up into 3x and 4x. So instead of writing plus 7x, I write 2x squared plus 3x plus 4x plus 6. And then the trick is that we factorise each pair separately. So if I factorise this first pair, the only common factor I can take out here is an x. So that's factorising to be x brackets 2x plus 3. And the second set of brackets, I can take out a factor of 2, which gives me 2 brackets, 2x plus 3. And if we've done this correctly, you should always spot that these two brackets will be the same. Because what we can then do is we can say we can take out both of these as a common factor. So if I take out a common factor of 2x plus 3 from both my terms, this term I'm left with x, and this term I'm just left with a plus 2. So it's x plus 2. And that's our term factorised. So let's just look through one more example then. So let's say we have to factorise this. So my first step is I'm saying my a is 8 and my c is 15. So I say what is 8 times 15? Well that's 120. So I'm looking for two numbers that multiply to give 120 and this time that subtract to give 14. So two numbers that multiply to give 120 and subtract to give 14 must be 20 and 6. So I'm going to start by splitting this 14x into the 20 and the 6. And I do that by saying, well, that must be the same as 20x take 6x. Take the 15. And then I use the trick of factorising in each pair. So the first pair, well out of that I can take out a factor of 4x and I'll be left with 2x plus 5. <coughs> and out of the second one I can take out a factor of minus 3 and I'll be left with 2x plus 5. And you can see again I've got the same two brackets. These are both the same. So I can take that out as a common factor. So if I take that out, I'm left with 4x minus 3 for my other bracket. And that one is also now factorised.